Nope, got my right coffee chin. Yeah. Brian. Yeah. Hap- oh, I don't think you say happy Memorial Day. Um, it's not a happy Memorial well, Day. Well, look, it doesn't. It's a tribute it, to the It's a tribute to the, to, the, to the men and women who fought for this country. And a country, I want to say this about Memorial Day. Do you go in the history of military. A country defines itself. A nation defines itself on what it's willing to fight for. And uh, I think a person does as well. So it's a it's an important time when people <clears throat> went off and made the ultimate sacrifice and died, you know, and spent a lot of time away from their families and paid the price for that too. So, hey, B, I was thinking, shout out to time. all that. You know what I was yeah. thinking is, uh, wouldn't society be better, especially America, if you had to enlist in the military? Like if you had to live a life like that? Wouldn't it's a very take, good question, Would you take man. more pride in our nation and like, I, I I don't think there'd be as much hate. I don't think there would be as much toxic like a uh, toxic environment on social media if everyone had to serve in the military. Because you learn like you kind of learn discipline. You learn the value of life. Some guys, I, the majority of them, go to third world countries. You see yeah. what other people live world. like. Yeah. You there's huge huge discipline. You have to work as a team. Yep. You realize what matters. Yeah. You're not, you know, in your mom's basement criticizing those who are doing things that you would never think of doing. Yeah. You know, like, you don't see a lot of military guys hating uh, hating on the internet. Well, th- th- I don't know. I-, I do think that's always been a contentious issue. And we did have a draft. Look up I how know. long we had a draft in this country. And um, I think after Vietnam was when things got... That's when uh, it stopped, right? Yeah. That's when Muhammad Ali obviously had the issue. Well, he, yeah, he had the balls. That was a pretty ballsy thing for him to do. 100%. Because of, but... but but at the end of the day, um, the, dra- the draft came to an end when the United States Armed Forces moved to an all-voluntary military force. However, the selective service system remains in place as a contingency plan. Many male citizens between the ages of 18 and 25 are required to register so that a draft can be readily resumed if needed. Um, <clears throat> there you go. This draft ended and this in 1970, right after Vietnam. That's right. There you go. So, so th- th- this country has always had a very contentious issue in terms of there was always the worry that a standing army, a standing army in this country would be uh, historically abused. So in, throughout history, when you had a standing army, you had an army that was ready to go, a charismatic leader would come to power like Napoleon and take control of that standing army to then control the population Nazis, and rule the Germany. population. It's just what would Hitler, happen. Yeah. You'd always have a charismatic dude sure. who would who would figure out a way to control the Mongols. military. Yeah, everyone, everyone, and still goes on in this in this in the world today. And the United States would uh, that that was the large question. But we had to ultimately have a standing army because we had threats to. from the British. Invi- and we had invaded, to be yeah, yeah yeah. But we were surrounded by oceans, so we had the luxury of having time to deal with that. But. Um, but I think I, I do agree that if you had a, a military draft, I think a lot of people would gain a great deal from it, especially young men. Who they have would all be, that aggression anyway? And yeah, and, and 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 by the way, also maybe it would also when you got when you are put in the military from say the age of eighteen to. 20 what are you doing those years anyway you're trouble trouble it keeps you out of trouble probably but also you learn kind of a foundation of how you should kind of live the rest of your life respect work well with others working well with others being exposed to like you said to other countries i've always said as a guy who grew up as a guy who grew up all over the world if if everybody in this country would just spend one month abroad anywhere just to see how other people live we'd have a very different foreign policy but have have you ever met like a like a real military guy who's just a tool I haven't. I, I probably. And haven't. I come from a military yeah. family. Yeah, yeah. I haven't. Well, one of the things we're I, just you know just like God, that guy's such a tool. Yeah. Never. So one of the things I said to my dad after after who I'm sure it? they're out there. I've yeah. never met them. My my father was a marine and always talks about this. And and one of the things I noticed about when I went to Afghanistan with um with Steve Byrne and Dove Davidoff and Sam Tripoli, you know, we went on that USAO tour. It was amazing. One of the things I noticed about being in a war zone was that it's all about the dude or the gal next to you. Mm. You come last. It's 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 country, it's it's platoon, you know, it's outfit and then it's ultimately you come last. But so when you see dudes in a war zone, everybody, say there are a bunch of bags in a truck. The one thing I notice is that they are they everybody helps. It it's it, like you don't even think about. It. You're not getting your bag. You're getting other bags first. Yeah. So everything about that but I, coming from Hollywood and I'd been in Hollywood for so long where it's all about you. 
It's all about narcissism. It, it's just about you know you are the center of your universe because that's that gets is. rewarded. That's it's the, the way it is. Yeah. yeah. In in the military, it's the exact opposite, and there's something very refreshing. And guys get a, 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 guys and gals get a, addicted to that community, that thing where For you're sure. all. And when you're in a war zone, you're always afraid, and you have to rely on each other. You create real bonds in stress situations. Band of brothers. You create the, yeah. what, uh, you actually produce oxy um, where you oxytocin, connecting. which is a bonding chemical. Yeah, and I say the close thing, uh, I've never been in combat, but the close thing would be fighting in the UFC. Sure. You guys go through this weird experience that only you two can go through. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, I'd love to see the science behind it. Maybe there's, there has maybe been you, re you release the same toxins. You do. Not even, toxins, it's a, it's a chemical. It's a, it's a bonding chemical. It's a bonding chemical. It's about bonding hormone called oxytocin. That a same woman, thing that woman and their baby. That's right. Gotcha. And so I, I'm assuming you, you develop the same release you in your do. body when you go through that experience. Under stress. Even if the guy beat me up, say Travis Brown, whoever it was, mm. there I'd go in the back and there was no anger, there's no mm -hmm. resentment. Well think about it was like, oh we both went But think this. about you and I, like like think about the bond like of, of starting out with the with Joe when Rogan told you to stop fighting, yep. the decision to keep doing the podcast, yep. to let it out, that shit is, oh, that stuff's stressful when it's happening. It's not pleasant. Super stressful. And, 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 and there was a lot of unknown with us. How about when I called you and uh, I was like, oh, I got us kicked out of Fox. Remember that? Yeah. A lot of it's on me. <laughs> a lot of it's on me. And I, I, I was like, <laughs> was a lot of it's just on me. I'd call Brian. I was like, well, hey, man. Well, well remember? Uh, start with that. Yeah, well, I, I might have made some enemies. I'm like, yeah, you're like what do you mean we got? We've been locked out of our, we got locked out. We just couldn't even go into the building. Well, we got to figure some out, man. You're like, oh, God. Oh, boy. Well, I guess we'll be just a uh, ride or die here. Uh, here we go. Yeah, man. So I, I do think that a draft, I've always always kind of felt like a draft but again you make a nation again, again closer now, right you're making you're also forcing people i know to join a government military outfit and are, are this but at the same time look at the way like the most countries have a draft most countries have a draft but also like the way our society is going especially the younger generation ain't good like look how toxic social media is mm. It's very I don't, I don't know that being in the military would... I do think that a I'm, lot of I'm, people... I'm saying we give them perspective. Yeah, yeah. I do think a lot of people from the age of 18 to... You know, somebody said, if you want to get rid of all the crime in the country, all you got to do is just take every 14-year-old boy and keep him in a, basically uh, a military-like outfit from 14 to 20. You'll have zero violent crime. Because <laughs> yeah. that's that's a, that's the age that... So I, I do I'm think not saying that, it's the answer. I'm saying it'd be obviously mm -hmm. you can't... We're not going to do that. I don't think. But then here's the thing. Yeah. Let's say we go to war with Iraq, which we might, because Trump's stupid enough. Let's no, say uh, Iran, Iran, Iran. Let's say we're able to do that. Yeah. Shout out to Iran. Um, let's say we're going to do that, and your son Big was 18. Be a disaster. And your son was 18. Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, "Sorry, he's in the draft." I'd be like, "No, he's not." Well, so that was that was but Vietnam. How, like, how tough would that be if that's your kid? That was the scarring of Vietnam, where Oof. so many people came back and they didn't even know where it was on the map, and they went, "I'm going to Vietnam." And For those what, guys man? that went, what yeah. did we lose? 54,000 yeah. uh, uh, guys. Man. And uh, and a lot of them came back, weren't the same anymore. And we just were like, and then we were like, but wait, it didn't do anything. Oh, wait, the North invaded the South and it's a communist country. And wait, you guys told us that we had to stop we had to stop this domino effect. So the idea, you know, the, yeah. uh, we have to stop the domino effect because the world's being taken over by communists. Correct. So we don't stop them here. We did it in Lebanon. We did it in Greece. And now we got to do it again in, in Vietnam. Uh, we did it. In, we did it in Korea. Well, we, stopped, we stopped. We did it in North versus South Korea. We that's why there was a big outcry, right? Like they don't want. That's why Vietnam was so well. The, the crazy thing is that yeah. we were winning the war. I mean, the, the fact of the matter is, the U.S. military fought very well in Vietnam, and the Tet Offensive was actually a huge success by America. It was a huge success when the Viet Cong tried to take over, but but it, when you saw it on camera, when you saw it on camera, it looked like we got our asses kicked. And it changed the way the American public looked at the war. But so who's a turning point? Who's in the war. broadcasting that? Because if, if it was coming from Walter American, Cronkite, but, but why? But why broadcast us losing? Like why not paint the picture like we're whooping? It wasn't ass? that we were losing, but what made what made news was the sensational stuff the uh, pictures of a girl on fire uh, after a, a napalm attack yeesh. as she's running toward the camera americans went what the fuck is yeah, what are we and doing? seeing the the caskets and seeing the military the young men who are wounded horribly and killed that was that came into american living rooms and it and it sparked an well it sparked 
massive protest for the first time, hey, right? Hey, yeah, because World War Two, not really forties. You're not. That's not getting broadcast. Well, remember that's on the radio. And remember, in World War Two, the fundamental difference was that we were we fighting had an enemy. We were fighting the Japanese yeah, and the Germans an who tr who the, the Japanese had attacked us. Yep. They had attacked us. Yep. Look at that. Look at that misery. Oh, I don't want to see those, Jin. It's Jin, do you ever think about going to the military? No. The reason I'm in this country is because of that reason. My, uh, pa my parents didn't want me to go to the military. Yeah. Oh, because in Korea, you have to enlist in yeah. the military. Yeah, and like my dad Korean was- zombie did like two years, two right? Two years, yeah. I think it's, two years. It's hard service. In the military, the Korean men are- The Koreans are very hard men. The, cu the culture expects hardness out of their men. You, you just know- They're not- They're, they're a tough- The tough women group. don't have to do anything, no. right? The Korean Tigers who fought in Vietnam were what a feared. Great name. They were feared. They 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 were pretty badass. Um, the guys I know who served in Vietnam said that the the people that they thought could endure the most the biggest hardship were the Koreans. They were just like the Korean Tigers were just like fucking. They blew their mind. They were just like they were all like all like Navy SEALs. Do you, you know, know what you know? What I found myself doing. I started watching this TV series called Chernobyl on HBO. Oh, Chernobyl. Do you know what I'm talking about? Sure. That was the meltdown of the nuclear reactor. Correct. And they covered it up. Yep. You know what I found myself doing is regurgitating what you say about Russia mm -hmm. to Joanna and her family. I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, they just suppress the people. Name one name one piece of art. Name one thing that Russia comes up with. Go ahead. Yeah. Go, I'll wait. <laughs> I was doing exactly what you're doing. I was like, name name one thing they make that we use. Go ahead. Yeah. I'll wait. Yeah, they're besides like, commodities. They're like, like oil. what? I was like, do you say oil vodka? and lumber? Vodka? Oil and lumber. <laughs> oh, you got vodka? Yeah. That's it. We no, don't even drink their vodka. Yeah, we don't drink it. No. They suppress their creative. Yeah. This is what happens. As soon as I get done, I act like I owned it. I was like, that's a country. That's a country where where <laughs> Mike else? makes right, right? Anything else? Yeah, that's a good ass series. It's only three episodes long, see it. but it is fascinating. Yeah, it, and I can and I think you can go on a tour of Chernobyl. Yeah, um, and but it's become it, a real it's still radioactive, right? Yeah, it's but you know what. The the uh, the area around it, I guess, has become a park where there are wolves, bears, like it's thriving. Wild like teenage mutant ninja turtles, yeah, thriving wild. It is fascinating. The yeah. when you watch the reason why it's fascinating is because it, it's just a true all of its true story. So you watch like what the fuck? no one lives there. I couldn't believe it, man. I yeah. could not believe it. It's no, no so good. There. It's yeah. so well done. It's on HBO. I got to see it. Yeah, it's only three episodes long, dude. Now that Game of Thrones is done, mm -hmm. Game of Thrones is done. Yeah, American Idol's over. You putting some TV in. You don't know I, what to look. I don't have. You don't know what to watch. I don't have. I mean, I've had some free time, right, with the mm. holidays. I, there's not much. I just started. Um, you know that mom, Mother Dearest. There's a documentary on HBO called Mother Dearest. Mm -hmm. Who do you know? what I'm talking about. The, I know the I mom know. that made uh, the, her believe Joan her Crawford. Daughter. Joan Crawford. Uh, the, the, she made her she, daughter believe she was sick all the time. Um, and the, to get free things. Oh, and then the, she had the, the daughter, Munchen's disease. Yes, yeah. And then the daughter kills the mom, murders the mom, oh, and shit. she got out. I think she just got out of prison. She's doing ten years. What the? Fuck? But the mom would make her, you know, pretend like she's real sick all the time. And then finally, she came around. She's like, "What the fuck? I'm not sick." And the mom would like fed her all these pills, and she they went <sighs> to like hundred different hospitals. And then finally, someone picked up on it. And was like, "She's fine. What's going on here?" And then she had, yeah, that that's whatever you call it. Our girl, Van Munchen syndrome. So her and her boyfriend, I think, right? I think the bo the boyfriend killed the mother. Spoiler alert, this happened fucking 10 years ago, so wow. suck it. Um, so, but the, so they they did a series on Hulu. I've never had Hulu before. I just got Hulu. First of all, it's dope. Poor Commercial kind of killing me slowly. But um, the actress looks eye fucking identical to the real girl. Jesus. It's on Hulu. Yeah, I forget what it's called, Chin. Poor girl. But the same the same mom who plays on uh, Escape in uh, Danamore. You know what I'm talking about in Showtime? Escape from Danamore, yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, Patricia Arquette. Oh, she's so good in this. Yeah. So that's the real one. That's not my, That's not it. Mm -hmm. That's on HBO. But uh, Mommy Dearest. The Act. The Act. The act. Look up. Look, when you go to Images. God, it's so weird. Go back up, Chin. This, right. this ain't it, bro. This ain't it. Go to the act and then type, then go to images right there. The girl looks fucking spot. This girl, right? Hot as go shit. Go far left. Look at the girl, man. It's spot on. Yeah. She's so good in this. Wow. Patricia Arquette's so, she's so good. Such man. a good actress. She's actually pretty. Yeah, she is. Wow. Makeup. Hater. Um, no, no, she's actually really pretty. <laughs> That's her in the in the show, though. Yeah. And look at the real. Look how good she looks compared to the real one. They look yeah. identical. 
That mom wishes she looked like Patricia. God Arquette. damn. What a horrible So I think name. she's doing You ten- can be born into the wrong to the wrong parents. Dude, so she told her <sighs> since she was a kid, oh, your legs don't work. And so she's like, oh, my legs. So just she got mentally conditioned. My legs, I'm always sick. And her mom would had a feeding tube in her stomach. What? Feed, oh, yeah. All fake. Kid was perfectly fine. You got to watch the doc- watch documentary and then watch the act on Hulu. But the documentary, you're like, what, what the sick fuck? So when they fuck, so they gave her, I think, ten years. Jen, see how long she got. I'm pretty Why'd sure. Why they give the daughter ten years? Let her out. What do you mean ten years? You you deal with that. And she killed a. She she her boyfriend. She talked her boyfriend into killing her. Oh. Murder of D.D. Blanchard. Late. Uh, She's a tractor. That head. Big, big dome. Horrifying. What What's a that daughter's name? <sighs> what I a think it was Gypsy, monster. right? Oh, yeah, Gypsy. gypsy? Yeah. Uh, I said, how did Gypsy Rose wow. kill her mother? You see it down there? What a... Yeah, click on that. Eligible for parole in 2023. Should be twenty three. Ten year sentence for her. She got yeah, ten years. That's bullshit. Let her it out. is weird they give her ten years, right? Let her out. Can be killing people though. It is fascinating though. Poor thing. She's been destroyed. How about by her shit head of a mom? Terrible mom. But and they would like con people so they got a house. They built them a house because of her sickness. Of course. She got like free the mom would shave her head all the time so she looked sick. God. The mom told her she was allergic to sugar if she had anything. She didn't have an EpiPen. <gasps> so like she would like steal on her own like cupcakes and try them. The mom saw her in front of tons of people, grabbed an EpiPen and shot <sighs> her in the leg. Ah. Like the mom's fucking crazy. Yeah, had a whole cupboard full of fucking pills and the kid Obviously, if you don't need the medication you're taking, you feel like shit. Yeah. So the kid's always in a wheelchair shaped head, feeling like shit, just dumping pills. Oh, what into a her. way to grow up. What a fucking way to grow up. What a piece of shit. What a terrible mom, man. Yeah, well, she's she's a diseased human being. She's an evil. You were born to a witch. You were born to a witch. You were, man. She's a witch. She got dealt with, though. She got dealt she with. She got killed. Stabbed multiple times in the back. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, I um, I think sometimes uh, murder is not such a terrible thing. For it's sure, like this for guy, this people. uncle who kidnapped a five-year-old, and he's not being cooperative. And they know he knows where she is, the uncle. And he's some young dude. And uh, I would, uh, l- let me get in there. Let me get in there. With a, with a, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get your fucking answer. That stuff's frustrating. I'll get man. your answer. I'll make that guy have sing you, like Neither you two have canary. seen this either? No. Mm-mm. Jesus Christ, guys, what are we doing? No one's seen it? I've seen a Law & Order SVU How dare ver- you. Like How remake dare of you it back in the day. Law and Order. Yeah, I don't like watching these things. I can't do it. I, this I, that's one's all good I need because, to know. Well, this one's good because it, it's so interesting. Because she obviously Gypsy's better now yeah. that she's, she's in prison. She's in jail, though. She looked kind of But healthy. she's away from the fucking crazy mom. Yeah. She's not getting, she can have real food. Hopefully she, she, she rebuilds not. her life at 32. You're going to be pretty fucked up because... She thought she was 14 when she was really 18. The mom lied to her on her age. and She's, she's kind of cute. She's attractive. Well, uh, in, the, in the TV series, yeah, she definitely is. <laughs> well, no, in real life, the person who's arrested is not terrible. Mm-hmm. You don't mm-hmm. think she's... Mm-hmm. Hey, Amen. Let me see you, Chad. Again, <laughs> Gypsy Rose, right? Yeah, Gypsy Rose. Let's see her. The teeth are a little tough, but fucking Freddie Mercury figured it out. Well, right there, she's got Gypsy Rose the nudes. She's very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Gypsy Rose nudes. Goes to go to Gypsy Rose nudes. She's cute. Poor thing. At least her eyes are straight. That's some baggage. That's some baggage. Brendan, um, go to the, see the boy. Ooh, tough Where? one. Uh, go to the boyfriend. That's the one who did it. That's what every troll on the internet looks like. Yeah, he's got some issues. He looks too. like he has. Yeah. Yes. Poor girl. That poor girl. That poor that girl. That poor girl, right? Think about what she's been through, man. Yeah. Well, well, happy Memorial up, Dude, Day. I saw Aladdin this weekend. Prince Ali, Ali Abab, Ali Abab. Scale of one to ten, please. Um, it was missing the magic of Disney, but I'll give it a solid eight. Wow. Will, wow. Will Smith was good. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. Now, the problem is, is Robin Williams did it before him. Mm. Which is one of the ultimate greats, but he did his own so thing. So you got Robin Williams over Will. 
They're just okay. different. Okay. I love both of them. They're just different. It's tough when someone yeah. does it first and then you got to recreate it. Yeah. But Will's really, really good. Amazing. Mm. And Jasmine? I don't know Jasmine. You know who Jas? You don't know. Uh, who, don't know Jasmine. Bring up Jasmine. Oh, she is a dime, dime, dimesicle. Really? You'd have to be. By the way, how about, how about Will Smith still still doing it? Dude, he's he did fifty. Well. Yeah, and killing it. Five zero, killing it. Princess Jasmine, the real Princess Jasmine. Well, hello. She is. I'm a looking. I'm a liking. Well, hello. Hey, is that Jay. her, Naomi Scott? Uh, Naomi I think Scott. so. Go to images. Tell you it has no actress. That's Jasmine. This guy. She's cute. Yeah, look at that little Jasmine. She's a... She could ride... Ride, <laughs> ride. She could ride she my, ride my carpet. carpet. Yeah. And by carpet, I mean dick. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Um, She's pretty, man. You know who's... You know um, what my dad never said? My dad never sat you. down at this age and went, man, my legs and ass are fucking sore. And, uh, at your age? You're yeah, because he wasn't doing age? lunges and squats. Oh, I dude, think about I'm so how different sore. I am. Well, uh, yeah, I hear you. From my, the men, from your, from your the men of the last generation. My dad's fitter than I am. He's in shape. He is. He, we're, we're, when he was sweating at my house. I'm like, God damn, Papa. Yeah. Uh, he's leaner Not than I am. Not an ounce of fat on him. No. Uh, I'm so, I went running uh, two days ago. I'm so fucking sore, man. You are? Ah, so sore. Oof. And then it was like I went at seven a.m., yeah. so the sun wasn't out yet, and I was running and oh, tight. Well, and there was a sign for mountain lions. I'm like, <laughs> so then I had my headphones in. I'm like, yeah. I don't know, man. I've been stressed too because the special and just doing everything yeah. around that. I've been real stressed, so I was running, and I was like, what if a mountain lion? Came? And I saw. Then I've been watching a bunch of like serial killer stuff. I saw one guy on the trail who looked super suspect. I know. So then I was like, God, what if he has a gun? And then I was. Keep going. I'm like, it'd be so easy to kill me. Yeah, your uh, mountain lion's not biting you. Mountain lion's not coming after you. You're too big. That's what I. That's what they, I told myself. They attack myself. women and stuff or smaller. Except men. for those two gentlemen. Those two gentlemen in Seattle who had killed one. What? Come on, Seattle. dude. You ever heard of this? When it was, a, it was it, in Seattle, two dudes, not small. This mountain lion went. Well, I'm starving, and these are only two numbnuts I see. Really? So they do. What? What do the experts tell you? Be, make get loud put your be- bike up so they put their bike up the mountain lion goes very cool that is a cool bike sir oh, but look at them they look delicious but I still do. so the mountain lion goes cool bike Those sir guys we okay. fighting because i'm starving starts attacking jumps on one they see him like hunting them right whoa jumps on one the friend goes oh no oh shit i'm gonna run and get help see i'm not gonna help you mm-hmm. he starts to run the mountain lion goes where the fuck are you going kills him slaughter eats him alive the, of the other guy gets away they come they call the cops they come back all they find is that guy's fucking head what yep and he carried the body up into like the tree so of Dude. course they killed the mountain lion but those That's are two grown strong uh, that that mountain lion was starving Starry. It's a little different kind of a story than those apparently, apparently those guys the, don't look apparently like they the mountain UFC, apparently, Brennan. they don't look I, like I think those mountain lions were looking for lesbians i didn't it says they identified as men S.J. Brooks, thirty-two, has been identified as man killed. Well, he's not a he. he he's a man. <laughs> it's saying, not like he's a trans woman. I know. But it doesn't but make they sense. They do look very. Look like, it was a hundred something pound. I don't feel. They don't look. They no, don't, they don't they look don't. like you put up the biggest fight. Right. They don't look. They don't look like I. I like I would fight them in a bar. I wouldn't fight you in a bar. You know what I mean? <laughs> the point is, Brian, that these mountain lions will attack. No, a mountain lion will fuck you up. A mountain lion. Will I was kill thinking you. about a hundred forty pound mountain lion. You seen a hundred pound police dog? What? Oh, a hundred pound police dog will destroy you. D- and think about a mountain lion. <laughs> All I'm saying is that's a large human, and the mountain lion wasn't scared of him. You get the point, bro. That's that's. Oh, okay. It says right there, who co-founded Friends on Bikes B- Seattle to create bike community where women, trans, femme, non-binary people of color. <laughs> I'm love it. Of color can come together and have fun on bikes. <laughs> so that those the creators. So the mountain lion homophobic apparently. Well, the mountain lion said that person looks like a gentler spirit. And right? it knew. Is that fair? Yeah. The mountain lion went. I don't smell the sauce running around. Right. Here. And he got tits. I'm gonna eat those. Yeah. 
That's what happened. Looks like th so. That's the guy who died. Yeah, or girl, gal, or whatever. But that, but that guy, gal, is also the one that went. Oh fuck! My friend's getting attacked. See ya, and ran off. Was like, I'm gonna get help. You'll figure it but out. No, he wasn't he the one who was eaten. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know why? Because huh. as the friend was getting attacked, who survived? Well. He, she was running. I don't know the right pronoun. So the, the, the cougar well, attacked she, both of them. Yes, the because when she took off running or he, whatever pronoun she wants to use, when she took off running, the mountain lion went, well, where the fuck are you going? And then killed her while the other one got away. Oh. Attacked both. But because she took off. The mountain it, lion goes, oh, you're like, running. Oh, it's prey. Uh, it killed that one. The other one got whoa. away. The one on the right got away. So they yeah. scared off the first time. They, they got off their bikes, scared it off the first time. When they got back on. It attacked one of them. So it, got, it attacked when they got back on their yeah. bike. Um. So uh, someone told that at one point his entire head was inside the cougar's mouth. When his friend began to run away, the cougar dropped him and chased Brooks. Wow. He then rode his bike, see a friend, to try and find reception. Mm -hmm. uh, the injured man called 911 just after 11 a.m. Can you hear me help? The call then cut out. Um, first responder, cougar was standing. There you go. First responder said the cougar was standing over Brooks uh, when the authorities discovered his body. The cougar had actually dragged the victim back to the wood line, and he was found dead there. Yeah. Damn. Wow. What a terrible way to go. Keep scrolling down, Chance. There are more details. Mm -hmm. Here's my thing. Isn't this a cougar doing cougar shit? Yes. But they always want to kill it. Like, it has the taste of human or <clears> just, <throat> just starving. Yeah, it's starving. Um, certain cultures and certain genders are associated with bicycling. Even though those people do by oh, Okay. Okay. Well, the cougar yeah. didn't give a fuck about your bike message. No. Nor should he. No. My point is, when I'm out there at 7 in the morning running, no, and I got, Brian, I got short shorts on that Reebok semi. I got my cheeks hanging out the front, dick piece in the no, front. No, your cheeks wouldn't be hanging out the front. <laughs> They'd be hanging out the back. You got you to be specific, because then I get very confused. Oh, I see. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, cheeks hanging out the back. Unless you're running backwards. Maybe you're running backwards. And that's not Sometimes safe. I am. That's not safe for Sometimes a lot of I am, reasons. though, bro. Yeah. So hear me out here. Yeah. And I don't have service there either. I don't have GPS. Yeah. I got my cheeks out the back. Yeah. Front pterodactyl. Hanging yeah. out the front, well, Dumbo in the running, front, it's cold in and the morning, I'm running, so don't dude. Say and my fucking my quads are yeah. pulsating. So I'm your, nub, your nub is bouncing up and down. Correct. Yeah. My tater tots are and you got a tight. You got a tight sack because it's cold. And when you run, and then I got tank top on, yeah. and I got a pink bike hat on. Oh boy, and I have sunglasses. Oh boy, I think the tiger could go. Hold up, I yeah. thought we got rid of this bike guy. The cougar, not the tiger, because they're in India. That will kill you. <laughs> you don't want to fuck around with tigres. No, oh, well, tigres, no, you never run. Tigres Never don't run. give a fuck about man or woman. It's like it's like Frank Grillo was in Africa and he and they go, "Where are you going?" And he goes, "I'm going to go for a run." <clears throat> they said, "Well, you're not going to go for a run." In, uh, Africa. Well, you're not because there are lions out in this where oh we're shooting. Oh my god! And he goes, "But I'm just going to go around there." And go, no, no, no. See, when you're running, they you're prey and you'll die. Holy fuck! Yeah, a dude. 330 pound, 400 pound <gasps> cat isn't hearing peep out of you. Isn't hearing a peep out of any human. You look delicious. Does anyone else think I, like I, I was running? I, I was. It actually consumed me for most of my run that someone was going to either kill me or a mountain lion was going to get me. Because if they kill me out in those trails, they, I'm, I'm telling you, I take. There's nothing out there. Well, sure, it's where Kanye holds his gospel, but they yeah. wouldn't find me there. They'd take no. me somewhere else. I was in Wyoming. It'd be easy to get rid of me. Yeah, yeah. And do, like if some guy was just like snipe. Remember yeah. the Malibu killer? Mm -hmm. Remember that the mountain? Mm -hmm. He just killed like a family that yep. was camping, he and they didn't the, catch him. A guy forever, yeah. forever. Did they catch him finally? Uh, they thought they, yeah, I think they caught him. They did catch him. Find out. You know what I'm saying? If yeah. let's say there was a fucking uh, Calabasas killer, yeah, it'd be oh, easy good. to get they away with, him. man. Man charged with murder. There you they go. Found. They always find him. I love. They him. always find him, right? Always. <clears throat> They're amazing. Let's see if we can see him. I was in I was in Wyoming with my girlfriend. We were hiking. Me. My girl, my friend, and his wife. I was a young man. Sure. Uh, now we're in Big Whiskey Mountain, where there are g -g 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 grizzlies. grizzlies. Okay. Now um, we were hiking. We saw grizzly tracks. Oof. I did mushrooms. Lost all my clothing. Bad ate, idea. Uh, ate a lot of berries. Came down. Just sneakers. Totally naked. I bet your with dick a purple didn't get worked mouth, at a purple all. Mouth. I bet your dick on that trip <clears throat> didn't get worked at I was, all. I was. I was. I was hugging rocks. I was yeah. very high. Yeah. I was on mushrooms. Sure. Now. Uh, that night, they've worn off, we've hung out. My girl in the tent gets her period. The one thing you don't want, look at that guy. Look at that cougar. What a bird. piece of shit. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, he's a crazy person who kills. You just gotta put What's him this? down. I agree. Toss him in a cage with a fucking mountain lion, man. That's the guy that, that Let him eat. Kill. 
So you're back to your story. So your girl's about to so grapple she, that anaconda. So when you, the one thing you don't want to have is your period in grizzly country when all there is between you and grizzlies at night is a tiny, thin Because they can smell nylon. the menstrual yeah, cycle, yeah, right? Yeah, it's not a good idea. That's what they said on And um, so she was so fucking Anchorman. afraid, so afraid. And we had Uno gun. Uno gun. One gun. Yeah. That ain't stopping a bear. Nah. And uh, I, she was so afraid, and I was trying to be brave, and I was like, don't worry. I'm going to protect you. I'm not going to let and I didn't have the gun. My friend had his gun. And we just stayed in that tent. And we kept you, hearing. Terrified, at huh? night you hear this. Does it make you then, horny though? <laughs> yes. Oh, we better figure this <laughs> Glad out. Glad you asked that because I was the man. Yeah. And I did some banging. She was terrified, but I was like, this might help. Even though she's on her period? This well, might Well, now help. I feel sick, Brian Callen. Whoops. Is that a grizzly? Whoops. Is that your booty hole? Is that a sleeping bag grizzly? Whoops. Are we going to Brown Town? Mm hmm. Uh, <sighs> Well, and I'm not talking about the bears. Ooh, got about to go an inch south. I don't even think I did that. I just was like, ah, we'll we'll deal with the old. Ugh. Yeah, I'm a man. Anyway, either way, you guys got after it, huh? <laughs> did your friend? Well, you're in a tent. I, so honestly, did your friend I don't watch? remember. I don't even remember if we got after it, but it's a good story. That's she cool. was so, so, so terrified. My thing is, when I was running too, I'm like, if I get <clears> murdered <throat> right now, or if a mountain lion does kill me, a I'm gonna get roasted online by people because I got murdered by a mountain lion. B Rogan's be like, I fucking told you, carry a knife. <laughs> so I remember telling me like, you're gonna run up there. I always have a knife on me. Like, yeah, I just don't. You're I not want to run with a big with fucking knife. knife your knife man. ain't doing shit against a. a if your hand, if you, if it's mano y mano and it's on top of you, that knife, you might want to have a knife. Yeah. yeah, that's what he said. I guess. But when my brother goes, make sure you have bear spray. All right, man. I'm yeah. just going for a run. I don't want spray here. I don't yeah. want a fucking knife here. Well, there's a good look up. Bow and arrow on my guy, back. Watch this guy and guy jogging in, I think it was in Canada. Ow. Mountain lion comes running out and he just goes, ah, and he sprays the thing. Video? Yeah. Does it run back? Yeah. It just, he stops it short with spray. You know what? The other thing is I've run with headphones. So <clears> even <throat> it was all, <laughs> so I wouldn't cooler. even hear it. I wouldn't hear it. I'm jamming. Yeah, jogger, you have jogger 80s. sprays bear, bro. Cougar? Jog yeah. I thought you were talking about Oh, there it is. There it is right there. The top, top one. one. Caught on cam. A frighteningly Watch close this. encounter in northwestern Alberta. A man out for an evening Alberta. jog found himself face to face with two cougars on a remote trail Alberta, about Canada? 100 kilometers. <coughs> the man behind the camera phone is Donnie Stone. The 35-year-old was running near his work camp when he spotted two cougars down the trail. I know there's lots around, but I've never seen one, so I've always wanted to see one. An avid runner, Stone takes part in events like the Death Race and Sinister Seven. He says runners are given tips to deal with a cougar encounter. I was expecting, quite honestly, for them to just stay in the bush and watch me go by. He continued cautiously back oh, towards Jesus. safety. Nah, man, you're a noise from behind. Ah, ah! Get out of here! It went from like being a five to being one to being one. Good thing he had that shit. <laughs> God damn, bro! Cross the fucking street, man! I know. What? <laughs> It wasn't even like it was all raw, like trying to attack him. Mountain Lion's like, yeah, very cool. Have a good day. Look at that. That's oh. right in its face. And then Mountain like, like, fuck, dude. Damn, that stuff is strong. Super strong. <laughs> <laughs> that thing was coming after him. Totally <laughs> and Mountain Lion's literally like, God, fuck, dude. Mm -hmm. I was literally crossing the street with my girl, you piece of shit. Two cougars waiting. Boy, they would fuck up a girl. Probably a mom and its cougars. cubs. I'll get you some food. Or a husband and wife. You gotta have spray. Spray, they say, is more effective than than a bullets. gun for yeah. sure, especially with big grizzlies. Dude, Jesus, a grizzly? Oh yeah, yeah. Game set match. Mm. Bear spray. That's a large. That's a serious spray too. Look at that. I stopped. I used to bring my son with me out there, but I'm like, mm, because when you see the signs from outlines, well, they definitely like I'll little kids. Yeah, I was like, I'm good with. He, yeah. I'll see him back at the crib. Yeah, but if you have him in your, what do you carry him? A knapsack or a no, man, he's three, dude. He likes to run with me. Yeah, I yeah, worry about that stuff. Yeah, rattlesnakes. Yeah, mountain lions, God. perverts, perverts. I can handle. I that. worry about the real people. Like if I was a serial killer, I would hang out on trails. That's what I was thinking, dude. Or we <clears throat> get dark. What? Or around Halloween, I just pretend I'm part of the haunted mm -hmm. house, and then I murder people, mm -hmm. and everyone thinks it's a big act mm -hmm. because everything looks like murder in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I told you that time I was 
trick or treating with me and my friend's kid. We were all all of us there. Guy sticks a fucking, you know, the kind of long saw you 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 cut branches yeah. off. Yeah, he sticks that out of the fucking sticks it out of the the door. A blade. What do you mean? He stuck a fucking <laughs> yeah, blade out. Like with trick or treating, he's all a real blade. And then I go, I go, I grab both of them. That blade right there. I go, blah, blah. What are and these then the woman came out and said, you shouldn't trick or treat. The, the fourth you shouldn't one trick or treat at houses yeah. you don't know about. Really? And I said, I'll murder you. I'll murder you. And then she said, come at me, bro. I said we should call the cops, but then. I would for sure. That's what he had. Yeah. Stuck that out. It's so strange. With dude. little children. How about I kill you? How about I kill all of you in that house? Could so. kill all of them. Is your, well, no barbecues today, right? For you guys' families? Mm, no. Does your family do anything, Kat? Uh, well, any chance they get to drink and party, they're like, cool. They're drinking and partying today? Yeah. Really? Yeah, but in San Francisco? In San Jose, yeah. San Jose. Yours, Jen? Do nah. Anything? We don't do anything. Yours do anything? Not at all. I tried to have a barbecue yesterday. A, it rained. B, yeah. I bought f- like two racks of ribs. Mm. <laughs> You know how hard it is to make ribs? You ever made ribs? No. Dude, I thought, my dumbass thought, I got from Whole Foods, I thought I could just go to the counter. It said marinated, so I figured they put in all the work. I just got to grill them. (laughs) Don't work like that, homeboy. Mm -hmm. You got to smoke those things for eight to ten hours. Yep. You got to marinate for another few days. Yep. You can't just grill them. They were awful when I had to order food for (laughs) everyone. When I I go to the body, (laughs) I say, I scream, Outback. I say, Outback, because they make ribs there. No, you say Chili's. I go, Chili's known for the ribs. That's what I mean. I go, Dude, you want the best ribs Chili's. for all those shit places? Mm. And I mean shit places, TGI Fridays. I'm telling yep. you, dude. I agree. My mouth is watering. Seriously? Their ribs are ridiculous. Really? Not a sponsor. When, when I've I, only I, been there once when I was in uh, Edmonton. Kansas City's got some ribs. That's all you need. Yeah, bro. Kansas City and Texas have ribs. I'm talking about if you're oh. trying to go to one of these bullshit oh, places. No. That like really? Chili, Chili's fell off. Chili's, when I was a kid... Yeah. Baby back ribs, yeah, ooh, was the time. best. Now bullshit. Really? TGI Fridays doing Look the goddamn that. thing, dude. Look at that. I love ribs. When you think about them, disgusting. I haven't had any good ribs in a long time, but good ribs when I mean they're over the top good. Oh, Stupid. nothing better. You can keep eating them. The baby blues in Venice. They, I think they might have left, but I they are they're good. Are, are they, they still gone? around? I don't know. I always drive by them. Baby blues. That's that's real. Is that that's got to be some baby shit blues on. is pretty legit. When are, you, when are you in Denver? Brothers Barbecue, some of the best already done. barbecue. I was nope, there. That's right. You yeah. fucked up, didn't go to Brothers. Mm. You can kind of get barbecue of all, all the main places. Bay Blue's still there in Venice? Yeah. yeah. That shit is pretty delicious, Brian Callen. Yeah, I'd go there. I'll go there now. Oh. I never go there. You know, I used to live across girl, the street. From there, right? roast these, what? I used to live right there. Right there. Like just across the street from Baby Blues? Like, yeah, I had a house that was uh, walking distance exactly one minute. Was Baby Blues open then? Yep, never went once. Because I'm snob, and I need to start being such a snob, because that looks good. Why would you be a snob over baby blues? That's asshole, like real barbecue. I'm an and that's I'm real out. barbecue. I got to stop spending money on designer food. I'm going to start eating. I need. Well, that's high end barbecue, like that. though, bro. That's like yeah. real, legit Look Texas that. style barbecue. Holy shite. I'm on that shit. I'm yeah, going there. I can't believe you've never been there. I might even go there after this. Sure. <laughs> if they're open on Memorial Day. You know where I went and I forgot about? Justa. Forgot about how good that is. Oh, Justa is fantastic. God damn, that. I had this. They, they, when you get a tuna salad sandwich from there, you think it's a tuna salad. It's a whole it's so different nice. thing. Oh, God, I haven't been to Juice in a hot second. I went to Scopa the other week. Go there right Showtime now. was in town, and we went there for uh, dinner. They said, where do you want to go take, to celebrate? Take you anywhere you want. I said, Scopa. Since I don't live down here, yeah. so I haven't been there in a while, yeah. so fucking good, dude. So good. And you know what I mean? I Scopa's sip amazing. I sip whiskey now like a gentleman, okay? Well, Scopa's, got, Trace. Scopa's got your whiskey and tequila it, like beyond, I They're, drink. You got the best bourbon. I in the drink world. Buffalo Trace bourbon whiskey, okay, yeah. and I drink it on ice, Buffalo like a gentleman. Trace. Buffalo Trace. It's fu- not if a sponsor are, either. If, yeah. Delicious. If you're a drinker, if you're a drinker of whiskey, you can go down that rabbit hole. Yeah, my boy, has, my boy oh, Aaron. Only, only certain ones, though, dude. My boy Aaron, who who uh, and Mishka, those those guys who work there, and Aaron listens to the podcast. That dude knows his whiskey. He can tell you, he'll be like, well, this is a single batch, and this this barrel was actually in the sun. So there, there's crazy one, shit. There's one whiskey. Oh, there it is. Hold on, Chin. You see the far right? That's my, that's my whiskey. No, no far left. Blanton. That's my whiskey. Dude. That's your whiskey? It is now. Rogan dude. had it. We're sipping the on best. We're doing the podcast. I went, dude, this is the best whiskey I've ever you had. Are, dude, that's my whiskey. That's Dad, my go-to. That's our whiskey. That's, my, that's our whiskey. <laughs> that's dude. our girl. 
Dude, that's that's a beautiful whiskey. And by the way, I, that's always my go-to. And my boy uh, Brian, who has a Buffalo Trace, school dude, in, that's uh, the Nashville. high-end Buffalo Trace. Yeah, that's high-end Buffalo Trace. The Buffalo Trace owns that. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure because I'm all over that. Blanton's Nika whiskey. Coffee Grain, my Japanese whiskey, and that, and they, they're not making Nika anymore. You know, you know who knows whiskey like a motherfucker? Jay Shab. I bet he does. But he only fucks with Japanese whiskeys. Well, kind of drives me nuts how he's going Asian on us. Yeah, but, <laughs> hashtag but no Hibiki, racist. Hibiki, he won't shut the fuck up about Hibiki Asia. Hibiki is amazing. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a Japanese whiskey guy myself. I'm not, but, dude. Kentucky but bourbon. That Kentucky, that Kentucky bland is no joke. Get the fuck out of my face. Hold man. on. It's expensive. You got the original single. See the single barrel yeah. right there? That's where my boy Aaron will, will steer you. He'll be like, oh, really? Try Hundo. Oh, my boy Pablo Cl from... Oh, listen. My boy Pablo's Pablo from my Scopa. Friend, my friend. How about this? We're sitting there drinking. He goes, you guys want some, you guys want some real tequila? Pulls out the oldest tequila... I believe made and it's like this super exclusive it's 250 bucks a shot motherfucker poured it for us Did four shots it? yeah is it nice yeah mm. yeah dude blanton's so you fuck have. your whiskey you fuck your tequila but i don't like tequila blanton's though Look at that. original single barrel not giving it away that's a 300 dollars bottle of whiskey what's the most expensive whiskey though oh, oh uh pappy, pappy, and pappy van pappy, pappy van, van winkle, winkle? <laughs> pappy van winkle is $2,500 Eat for a bottle. Happy Van Winkle, mm -hmm. but I don't think you can buy it anymore. Four hundred bucks a shot. They only they only make very very oh, little of it. Sixty G's, Aqua oh, of Life. Shit. Some of that old. That's shit. Japanese, right? Oh, that's sixty year old. Though. That's a sixty year old McCallum. Louis, McCallum yeah, whiskey. The, so a rare six year old uh, whiskey fetched a million dollars you're just but you're you're paying for like That's you're paying for that History. exclusivity that hasn't been around. uh type in uh pappy van winkles pappy Und van winkle. Was schnickels. Pappy, pappy van, van winkle pappy van winkle i'm uh, going to be drinking some of that june 5th why uh boss rutten invited me to a dinner right down in i think it's santa monica i can't remember what it is and how do you know you're gonna be drinking that though don't worry about it don't worry about it that's a 14, 14 grand. That's not how much it is. You know who has a bottle of that? 15 grand. Yeah, you know who has a bottle of that? Wait, click on the... Well, it's 1500. the 15 here. That's $1,500. That's crazy. Well, that's 1998. 23-year-old. Wow. 23-year-old. $14,000. Wow. Yeah. So our boy Wes Chatham. Wes Chatham has a bottle of Pappy. He's Wes, come on, bro. Yeah, we got to break that out. God, let me just get my beak wet a little bit a on little your bit. Pappy Van Winkel. That'd be a that'd be. Why a is it called Pappy Van Winkel? That'd be a treat. Be a real treat. Yeah, we should have a little bit of it. Dude, we should buy a bottle. Twenty-three year old, wax top. Fifteen cleaner. grand. It's just so rare. You know, you can't, you can't get it. That's you only nineteen ninety-eight. It's not. Yeah, but you can find the uh, one of the most careful and expensive distilled methods can be used to create the whiskey as special as this one. This is the same distillation as our famous twenty-year-old Pappy Van Winkel family rest who's pappy van winkel pappy van pappy winkel. van winkel yeah well rip van, van, van winkel rip van winkel right you know the story of rip van winkel falls asleep wakes up how many years later 15 you know what I, mean? <laughs> <laughs> I should know this <laughs> you didn't know either. rip van winkel he probably wakes up like 25 <laughs> years later see what see how long well, it's well, why, why, but why is this so expensive <clears throat> In 1983, when he was 18 year old, Julian Pappy Van Winkel Sr. <laughs> began working as a salesman for a liquor wholesale. We're at, though, 15 years later. Okay, he owned it, and that's 1910. Okay, Sour Mash Whiskey, 1872, super old. We're on. Let's keep going. The product around. has been a cult like following famous chefs such as Anthony Bourdain. Shout out to Bourdain. Um, Here's a question the, the bourbon everyone, everybody wants but can't get. Keep going down, man style okay i don't get why why it's so cool like all modern bourbons van winkel bourbons are made primarily from corn that's disappointing and asian charred new american oak barrels i don't get it blood. man and bad blood uh do you know so so if his name is van winkel what's his heritage what do you think sweden no nope. swedish no nope. if you had to guess Svankel? not bad not but you're in the area what Dutch. Ah, fuck. I should have known that. That's right. Van Helsing. Old Rip Van Winkle straight burden. And you ever had Van Helsing? How long was Rip Van Winkle asleep? I'm going to say 25 years. How? But it's obviously a, a, a myth, right? It's like yeah, a yeah. fork low. Yeah. Or he just woke up from a coma. and he had a really Or he just took a beard. long fucking nap and yeah. didn't want to be bothered. 20 years. Ran Rip Van Winkle sleeps for 20 years in imitation of the old German legend Peter Klaus. He slept through the American Revolution. 
I still, I'm, um, the fans will let me know. I'm curious why uh, Rip Van Winkle whiskey is so expensive. Uh, it's not Rip Van, it's Pappy Van Winkle. Pappy Van Winkle. Probably because it's been around so long and they take such good care. They, they release only, they have very high standards. So, so it's like the Ferrari. Yeah, of they, they just have whiskeys. high standards. They're craftsmen. They got it right. Why Pappy Van Winkle? Wow. models too. They do look cool, dude. the The best thing I own of for, and I just started getting into um, li liqueur. Is I have a old school that our boy Pablo gave me an old school uh, Campari when it was clear Ooh. from the sixties. Pablo gave that to you. Yeah. Hey, fucking for being a, Pablo for being awesome. That's what he gave it to me. Pablo I said, "Why went for being awesome?" I'm going to Scopa. Actually, Steve, my boy, who owns Scopa too with Pablo. He's got a couple of bottles of Blantons for me. Apparently. I don't think so, dude. Yeah, I feel does. like you're making stuff. You said up. I got the best stuff. Don't tell Brendan. Uh, today's some 44 years later. It's funny. It's scarcity. A huge profit. It's hard to get. That's why. It's my father. My father will, will will get. He gets into Scotch whiskey. That's the whole thing. He'll drink a Scotch whiskey, expensive, and he'll go. Ah, oh, this is life. Leave it there, Chin. <clears> it says, hold up, uh, dude. They joined Buffalo Trace. Van Winkle's marketing manager says the distillery has increased production every year since 2002 when it joined forces with Buffalo Trace which now produces all the company's whiskey. Motherfucker. I knew them Buffalo Traces were doing something. Causes right. black market to take over. Mm-hmm. By wow. the way, don't be surprised if the Japanese, I mean, the Chinese come in with fakes, the way they did with wine. Come in with fakes. Fake wines, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, yeah. You ever seen fake Yeezys? Thanks, Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> fake bags. Louis Vuitton. Wine. Bags, I understand. But wine? You can tell a fake, though. You ever seen a kid with fake Yeezys? Well, but the, with the watches and handbags, they make them in the same factory. The watches the are specs. tough. Well, not, not Rolex. They don't make the same factory, you know? They're not made in China. Mm. They're just super fakes. Now, there's some really good fakes. Yeah, really so I used to fakes. come to Venice Beach, buy the fakes, sell them to pawn shops in Denver. Yeah. A little hustle I had on the side when I was a teenager. Really? Yeah, it'd be Business tough, man. man. Always making money. You can definitely try. You can, look at those. Come on. What are you doing? Those are Uggs that they spray painted gray. Really? And put a comfy you can bottom. Tell they suck. Oh, God. They're so easy to tell. There, there's some good ones. They don't even look like that, man, for God's sake. Kanye sakes. West knows what people like, I guess. Or tells uh, them what to like. Yeah, those are the worst like shoes them. I've ever seen. <laughs> these look bad. I those are the, so I think these are hard. No, I think those are like house slippers <clears throat> that they have oh, to look why. like Yeezys. There's some of those. That's interesting. Those are fake. Super fake. I don't know what those are. Can't tell. Yeah, those are terrible. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Those hurt my eyes. I might go into a those seizure. Those hurt my eyes. Yeah, I agree. Those aren't great. Ugh. They're comfy as fuck, though. Yeah, I bet. They gotta be something. You look down to see if I have Yeezys on. I'm, I'm over Yeezys, though, I gotta be honest. What are those? I like those. These are Varvedos Converse. Damn right they are. I just slip on into them, dude. Jean Varvedos makes some good shoes. They make some cool stuff. Yeah. If you want to dress like fucking... You got tits on you. A magician. You got some tits. <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> What's up, bro? They make me want to squeeze your tits. You want to suck them? You want to suck on yep. the tits? Yep. Mm, I suck. No. I do that to Will Sasso. I get him so mad. I go, what's up? He goes, hey. I go, how's life? He goes, good. I go, yeah. You just hanging around? He goes, hey, what do you want, man? I go, <clears throat> I go, hey, what do you want, man? I go, what are you just going to work out? Or He goes, look, man, I'm busy. I go, all right. You suck your tits. He goes, fuck <laughs> you. Fuck <laughs> Will, you send me just the most vulgar text, man. Oh, yeah. Just like some guy getting his nuts kicked. Yeah. Like over and He'll over. Just send you shit. Dude, you didn't even, I bet you didn't even see it. Did you see the nice heartfelt message I sent on Instagram today to you? No. To me? <sighs> Instagram? Yep. Mm -hmm. To me? Yeah, man. You're included in it, and I wish you would acknowledge it just a tad. It's oh, not why God. I do it, but I wish you would have saw it, dude. I didn't know that. Wait. Post it. It's. I posted 10 pictures that I've had for my special that Courtney, my boy, shot. I couldn't wait to post them. I want to thank everybody who was involved, specifically you and Joe Rogan. Oh, you're awesome, buddy. I didn't see this. Go. I think it's the sexing picture. Sex, <laughs> the sexing. Check out the picture where we're sexing. Yeah, there, like, it's on that's the screen, my favorite Brian. picture right there. Be. Oh, that's a great shot. That's when he came in. That's a great shot. That is where I came in. I remember that. Look at us. What are you doing, Brian? <laughs> Silence. I'm reading it. I love oh, it. Oh, okay. I'm loving it. This it's is... a long message. I'll read it. Look at us. Look at the crew, dude. Look, you, you go to the, go to the. That's a great pick. 
Look at the Abbott Kenny too. You got B. You go yeah, this right. the next one, Chin. That one is where you guys are just dropping knowledge on a brother. That's good. Aren't right those there. good pictures? That Courtney great dude's pictures. great. Shout out to Courtney. Look at man. Joe's uh, hyperextended knees. Um, oh wow. <clears throat> yeah. That's, that's a great shot. Are you yawning? I know. That's what I'm looking at right now too. No, I'm. I'm probably going. <gasps> No, oh, I I think you're going. Oh, <laughs> and then look at my face, just like what is happening? You're not right even now? looking. You're looking at the ceiling. I'm like this. <laughs> you're looking at his hat. You're going. Uh, are you a cab driver in England <laughs> from the 20s? <laughs> hey, Mac, where to? Yeah, I couldn't wait to post these pictures. I wanted to wait like a week to after the special. These are my favorite pictures. I'm gonna set them frame. Look at the whole crew there. That's a great shot. Good Jay Shaw, powerful Jay Shaw. Look at look at Klops, Klops, Klops giant muscular ass. arms. Jason, that's the crew, yeah. man. It looks like Jason Buster. looks like he was won by Klopp in a carnival. Oh, you saw Buster looks like he was won as yeah, a I mean, sex Buster, slave. I, that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh, uh, you guys, hey, don't don't talk. Stop laughing. That's my twink, everybody. We're gonna go every time he walks away. He's got him on a chain. Well, I'll be right back. Buster, well, Jay's not with me in Cleveland this weekend because I forget what he's doing. But uh, Jay Shab and I have the same hairline. Um, D close, yeah. I might have a little close. More. Close, man. Keeps it the close kid. to the bone. I will tell you what, though, if you want Jason, Buster, and my brother, though, if you're in a new city, <laughs> these motherfuckers know everywhere to go. Yes. They do research before I get there. Yes. We walk everywhere. Yeah. I have to tell them. You guys go. I'm gonna take a fucking break. How about mm -hmm. that? I'm gonna take a break. Mm-hmm. That's a great, that's great, dude. That's the whole crew, man. That's a great shot. Yeah. Where was I in that? <laughs> You're probably where was me and Rogan? Probably mm, backstage. Probably backstage. That's like the the people off, uh, not comics. Right, right. So right, that's right. like my manager. That's Justin, our agent. Yeah. That's I Jason, like, uh, Angie, I like your manager, Brian, Jason Lewis. A lot. Jason's great, great guy. right? Yeah. There's Jay and Klopp, and then Jason's laughing for whatever reason. Hmm. Very good picture, dude. Thanks, man. I want. I've been waiting to post these, mm -hmm. but I figured you wouldn't see it unless I said something. Look at something. the boys right there. Look at the brothers. Brothers, let me get in there. Brothers, brothers, so we're brothers. Used to do that on the road. Brothers, brothers. I tried to be there. Brothers, brothers. stop like, fighting. Brothers brothers, 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 brothers. Should we go eat over here, brothers? <laughs> brothers. Oh, I want to be part of the crew. They'd be hanging out. I'd be like, hey guys, brothers. Get me, me squeezing in there. I think brothers, let me get in Jay's there. Jay's can be with us in Vegas. Awesome. Fifteenth. Can never get enough of him. I think so. Can never get enough. You guys are coming too, aren't you? Mm hmm. Oh, snaps. Fucking Vegas. Vegas. Where are we staying? We staying, we staying proper? Where do you want to stay? I want to stay somewhere proper. Me too. We got a night. I'll be coming from New York now. Are you coming yeah, from New York? Yeah, I'll be coming from New I'm York. Listen. Doing my press tour for Complicated Apes. It's going to hurt a little bit. Yeah. I get you staying at the Circus Circus. Huh, huh, huh. <laughs> hey, guys. I, when's the last time you stayed hey there? Hey, guys. Have you ever been to the Circus Circus? You couldn't keep me there. When I was a kid, that's where my dad. <laughs> Have yeah, a stay. A tough, it was tough. One. tough. Yeah. I find those hotels to be very depressing. I, I was uh, checked in at the Palms in their old tower, I hate palms. and I it smelled like cologne, and there were cigarette stains. And I go, one thousand, one thousand limo drivers in their forties have stayed here and had a hooker in this bed. I can't. I was like, if I had a blue light here, it'd be such a disaster. I got to get Dude. the fuck out of here. Hotels are uh, where you stay in your hotel when you come to the city is everything. It's, and for me, and for me, uh, hmm. Palms triggers negative thoughts, right? Because that's where I lost a Roy Nelson oh. there. So don't get, oh. excuse me. The Palms go, hey, Shab, we'll give you our master suite. And I would rather stay at Circus Circus. That's very interesting. It, remember, I lost the fight. I had to stay two more days oh. and do fucking stuff with Ultimate Fighters. Miserable. That's so and miserable. And then you're walking around on a Sunday at Palms when no one's in the fucking casino. Oh and you lost God. the biggest fight of your life, and oh you got to walk God. through. Oh and the few people who are there recognize you. Well, of course and you, you lost. Film. By the way, of course you lost. You've been fighting a year. Yeah, fighting, Roy, fighting Roy Nelson. Isn't that hilarious? Yeah. You've been fighting a year, and they put you in with a ridiculous veteran. So you sign up. For one them. of the one of, oh, UFC Hall of Famer, actually. Yeah, for sure. Legitimately, MMA Hall of Famer, you could say. Best chin, maybe. I would say Hunt. Roy Jones in some ways. Yeah, Roy Jones and Hunt. Roy, Roy best chins. Roy Nelson. Uh, Roy no Nelson. Roy Jones. Best chins too, of all time. And a ridiculously good fighter. I mean, well, if if but here's what's funny about that: that fight wouldn't have got sanctioned if it was a regular fight. Of course, the it only reason it got sanctioned is because we were at a tournament and Vegas sanctioned it. But if How the f if we let's say the, I just got the UFC, which I went with three fights. But let's say I only had three fights. I got the UFC. And I went, Here's Roy Nelson. Commissions like, hold up, this guy has over thirty fights. You have this kid has three. That's ridiculous. They wouldn't sanction it. But in boxing, they would never let that happen. 
No, but that's just the nature of the beast. But it also it gave me my platform, you know? Like, I had to take one on the Jesus chin, Christ. literally, or behind the ear. Um, that, that knockout. And he did that to so many people. You, you oh, still yeah. see it. Yeah. I do, because I, I'm looking for the overhand right, but you, know, you don't see that. <laughs> you know what you're now. looking for, dude? Huh? You know what you're looking for. My hands are set. My hands are up, that's all. I step back. <laughs> I go like this. Are oh, you on the road this weekend? Are you on no, the road? I'm here. Oh, good for you. Two weekends in a row. Oh, I don't know what to do with myself. Nice. Yeah. Dude, I looked at my schedule. I got so many weekends on the road. I'm kind of stressed out about it. It's you know, a lot. It's a lot, but you, that's how you get good. No, I know. When you're I know, road, dude. Banging out. I know. I'm just saying. I know. Six weeks in a row? That's too much. Right? For me, too much. I saw I went, well, I agreed to all this? That's it's, ex- it's exhausting. It's exhausting. You're going to make a lot of money. And Time away from the kid, good, though, dude. That's the thing. I panic when I'm away from the kid like for more than three days. Um, but yeah, I know. I know. Where are you going? Where are all you going? Bring this up. Bring up his schedule so I can so I can go through this myself. Cleveland, awesome. Hilarities. Hilarities. Have you, you been there? Uh, yes. And I heard the it's owner a great is club. awesome. That's what everyone the says. The owner is a guy you want to be when you're his age. That's why Bobby Lee told me he's yeah. like the best owner ever. Yeah. Cleveland. You got Cleveland. The Burbank is okay. Easy. So Vegas, Vegas easy. Not really, these aren't really weekends. Well, no, this doesn't day. count. No, no, no. Keep going. This okay. doesn't count. This now is we got Calgary. Time. Okay, that's Canada. That's that's get a direct flight, but I understand. Brea, easy. Brea, you're home. They a little time off, right? Then I go Cincy, oh, Indy, Cincy? Oh, shit. Nashville, oh, shit. Portland, oh, shit. Denver. Oh, you're all over the country. Yes. That's where it gets tricky. Oh, Denby, Den, too. Now, Denver's going to be fun. However, because you're from there, you're going to have to deal with a lot of family and Some a lot say of people. exhausting. There you go. Because you got to have put people on a the list. There's all kinds of stuff that goes on. Nah, no one's complaining. They'll figure it out, right? Yeah. Do, for, for one of your current events, do you have the shark attacks? I have one of them, yeah. Do you see dude got his leg ripped off by a great white? No, was it a great well, white, though? or what? It's it was, f- They're for sure a great white. It wasn't a tiger Because I thought tiger, too. This is that Maui, right? Yeah, yeah. A confirmed yeah. great white. A confirmed? Yep. I don't know. Let's see. I'm, I'm, That's I'm, what Good Morning America said, where they showed a picture of great white. You know how they do it. But you know, yeah. there's been more I shark think it attacks. I probably a tiger. You know there's been more see. shark attacks than ever this already? Really? Like leading into it? Yeah. Well, it's a wilderness area. Not, nowhere mm. better than Hawaii, man. I've been, I've been, uh, I've been, I've done a lot of snorkeling out there. And Me too, man. Yeah, saw a bunch of stuff. Maori eels. You see, you see, fucking. I see shark. shark warnings were posted because they got a lot of. Exactly they got, where I've got, swam. got lots of. Um, I read this. They got lots of uh, shark warning signs were posted sharks Sunday. Area where the man died a day earlier. As we got closer, I saw some blood on his stomach. Then he got looking a little bit more at his wrist. Look back. And the skin on his wrist was just torn off. This is a different guy. Then I got to looking closer and his entire left leg from the knee down was just missing. Is this a different guy? No. This Same is the guy. one that's been making the news. Yeah, and then did you, see, uh, did you see the video of them getting him and then putting him on shore and he's already dead? I, I didn't see that. That's a Snorkeler tough, off of Maui in 2015 was killed. God, that'd be a shitty way to go, I man. think that's like uh, bull sharks. and uh, Usually Tiger's the one that do it, but they I thought they found the great white. Think so. Come I don't think. Yeah, it's going to be tough to know to pinpoint which shark. Well, tell that to Good Morning America because <laughs> they had a picture of a great whitey. Mm, yeah, they'll show up gray white, but you know what? Hey, th- so just so we're all clear, no yeah. one's listening. If I get bit by a shark or killed, just yeah. tell everyone it's a great white. Okay. Don't tell them it's a bull shark. That's right. some bitch shit. All right. You know what I'm saying? I will. Be like there was a well, huge bull great sharks white. are giants. I know, What's but this? most people don't think of it. It's all about how you spin the narrative, dude. Shark bite capital of the world experienced. Where is that at? Oh, it's in Florida. Florida. Uh, dude, get the fuck out of my face. But this was in Hawaii, for sure. <sighs> Let's go some current events. I'm glad you guys had that one, though. Cool. Let me pee on my huge... So there's quality, and then there's quality. You understand? You're like talking crazy. about Roan for the modern man? Well, I, I happen to know that Roan is admired by other people that make clothing. True All right? this, man. And I, I happen to know that for I'm a, a fashion fact. guy. I'm yeah. a fashion guy, and I like Roan. You know take what? A look. Go look at their website. Take a look at their gear, all right? You're talking you know about premium you... shorts, shirts, tank tops, socks, swimwear. Dude. Roan engineers the perfect clothing for the office. Maybe you got a long flight. Commutes. Maybe you're driving. Commutes. Whatever you got to do, yep. dude. They got you covered. Well, they got the commuter collection, okay? And it's the performance alternative to the everyday workwear. My buddy wears it. 
It's sharp. It looks great. It's wrinkle free. Chop it's that buddy. stuff that guys, if you live close to the bone like me, if you if you like if you say you like to do some parkour, stop crime, you like to do some street fighting, but also but, but some loving, make some business deals but, and, ma and, and make, make business, business deals because I'm, I'm an artist, but a businessman. But you want to be wrinkle free. I want to be wrinkle free because you know I'm lazy when it comes to clothes, but I want good quality. I want I want strong smooth lines you know what you want yeah you want to visit roan.com oh, that's yeah. r-h-o-n-e.com slash fighter and use promo code fighter to get 20 yeah. percent off your entire first purchase roan.com roan it up yeah. roan it up roan it up that's what we say roan up roan it up bro roan high quality slash clothing. fighter high quality clothing let's do this buddy what are we doing now? All right. What do you got about chin? So we're going to start off with something sad and progressively get happier. Uh, Stanley's former business partner was arrested in Arizona for elder abuse. And he's claiming that he has never laid a hand on Stanley and that this is an accusation from his daughter, who's the one who abused Stanley before he died. Mm. So this business partner and Stanley actually had a falling out a couple of months before Stanley's death. And he ended up with a restraining order against this gentleman and yeah he's trying to say that this is all a big accusation from his daughter and that she was jealous that him and stan were so close i believe it i mean i, well, I don't know what do you mean by elder abuse and how was he getting away with elder abuse what, what does that mean He'd like slap that sounds stan like a Leo general around? sounds like a general accusation and i i got skeptic i got hippo eyes too here yeah they don't specify like, what they I, mean I, I, I would understand that that they, this sounds kind of like, I'm like, what? Elder abuse of Stan Lee? Have the, we ever the, heard of Incredibly being... wealthy guy who created Spider-Man and everything else? Huh? Well, how was he going to, what would he do? Did he come over and beat him up? What are we talking about? There are accusations about him um, mishandling Stan Lee's money, though. Sure. Oh, well. yeah. I'm sure there was all that, but. But there's, that's there's different than slapping Stan yeah. Lee around. Yeah. Well, when you say elder abuse, you got to get specific and how, when. That shit comes out. Mm-hmm. But, God. but yeah, on to some better news. So this Wendy's employee after hours took a bath in their sink. This video went viral and he ended up getting uh, fired from his job. What was he? So what, be clean. was he doing it just to prove that you can still get passed? No, like, just like for shits and giggles for Snapchat. Oh, well, of course they'd have to fire you. Dude. Yeah, it's worth getting. Fired but for it's me. the sink where they wash their dishes and shit. Yeah, that's yeah. gross. Yeah, it's, it's actually, that sink has got plenty of bacteria, period. So. I mean, I definitely don't want you washing your ass. You don't want your, your groin and your, your poo-poo place clean? That's hilarious. Damn video. There it go, is. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, shit. Take a bath. Take a bath. Yeah. Get yeah. in there. <laughs> it's what it is. I just don't oh, get they're it. all filming, too. Oh, did, did they all get fired? You got nope. them, just fired. the guy who did it. I don't know. Is it worth firing him? It was just a prank. He's just fucking around. Right? I feel like Wendy's can't really let stuff like that go after yeah. the whole like finger in the chili debacle. There's a finger in chili? No, but that was, a, yeah. that was bullshit. Yeah, that was bullshit. Way back <clears throat> in the day, a woman yeah. said that she found a finger in her chili and it happened to be her husband's finger that Tight she move. somehow had. Tight move. Yeah. <laughs> Next one? Yeah. Uh, Yeah. So this 27-year-old man had a gun on in his front pocket. It got triggered. It went through his nutsack into his thigh. And before going to the hospital to get stitched up, he had his girlfriend drive him to his friend's house to drop off the gun. He's a convicted felon with 13 felonies, so he couldn't get caught with having a gun. While he was in the hospital getting stitched up, this article says that somehow... A balloon filled with weed slipped out of his butthole just, while he was getting attention. stitched up. Oh, okay. They reported it to <laughs> okay. the police while he was uh, <laughs> there finishing up on him. Police searched his car, found a pair of jeans that were bloodied up. They're suspecting that it's the pair of jeans that he accidentally shot himself in sure. and had a baggie of meth inside. This guy they then like a real winner. Yeah, they then arrested him mm. and while they were taking him in, another balloon filled with marijuana fell out of his ass. Mm. Oh my god. Got and they keep mind. saying that it slipped out. <laughs> Yeah, well, he probably used lubrication, and <laughs> your rump gets loose. He probably just got a little too relaxed. Mm -hmm. Got a little relaxed, and uh, bloom. That's hilarious. But, yep. 
Well, there it is, kids. What else you got? Uh, this right here. Adam Levine. I guess he wasn't supposed to leave The Voice, but he's been acting really messed up recently. Why? Probably I guess he had like... Probably hates being on the show. <laughs> he did, yeah, he's tired of being on the show. He I guess... He so much money on that show. Do you know the upfronts? I don't know much about upfronts, but he was, he was supposed to be at an upfront, and he was just being like... He, like he didn't want to be there. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, the upfronts. Tell him what it is, B. You basically go there and they announce your show and you all do the a bunch stars of very boring show, interviews. Right? It's not, yeah. I mean, when you're at his level, you, you you do so much of this, and your life is is constantly these sort of like you're standing, you're having pictures taken, you're answering the same questions from different media outlets, and it does get a little bit much. It gets for a guy like that boring, or you know, he just doesn't want to do it because he doesn't have. And to, how long by the has way. he been on it? Twelve years. 12 seasons? Wow. Does anyone know? Scroll down. He, he, I think it was 16 the, seasons. So uh, he's had enough. Yeah. Um, he's had enough. And I, yeah, I'm sure for him, he's like, all right, dude, season 16. Got a good body. Don't take your shirt off like that, but you do have a good body and I guess cool tattoos, but. I like his music. I feel like it was eight years from what I remember. He was on the for eight years? Yeah, something like that. It's actually, he sings well. He's a fucking talent. And he player. didn't want to do the upfronts thing or whatever because he had no contestants left over. I guess before they would yeah. have judges with you know, a certain amount of contestants left over at the sure, end of would go the stage, to it, yeah. but then he had none left over, so he, he didn't want to go to that either because of that. Yeah, he's like, yeah. where the fuck am I going? Yeah. Plus, you, you, when you have all the money and fame in the world, he's probably like, fuck it, dude. Yeah, I, I like, can't I, say I'd be any he, he, But for me, it was Oops. time to move on. You see it? Yeah. For me, it was time to move on. Cool. But he was supposed to be on for next season. It's because of this, and then the NBC execs getting pissed off that but he's he no longer. He wants to do other shit. He probably went out already. He's like, one more season. Then when the executives get pissed off at him, he's like, you know what? Fuck this noise. Yeah. I'm out, dude. And there's a lot of like, there's a lot you get ready backstage. You got your change. You got, there's just a lot of stuff after a while you're sitting there and it, it can get, I don't know. Probably at his, a lot of times too, like, well, that's not true. But a lot of them are like older singers who would critique like on American Idol. He's like Paula Abdul, right? Yeah. And like uh, Lionel Richie. So he's still like in the prime of his fucking career. Yeah. And he's probably like, I don't be known as the fucking voice guy. Yeah, and this exit is also a little bit staged too. You you want to go with some noise, so you go into something else. Seems like a bad boy. Yeah, you got to do some stuff. You know. Do you like Maroon Five Chin or no? Way back in the day, you don't like them now. I'm sure they're great. I just don't listen to them much. Are you a fan, Cat? Uh, I agree with Chen. Actually, I like their earlier Boom. stuff a little better. Their stuff now is still Did really they good, but sell out. <laughs> no, I just kind of like their uh, alternative sound more. I love the people that go. I used to love Blink until they became real popular. <laughs> Dude, I was with those guys from the jump, and then they got famous. Completely different. Uh, or they got a lot better, you know. Is Blink One Eighty Two Travis's band? Yeah, yeah. What's his Maroon Five? Is his? Yeah, yeah Maroon Five. He can sing, man. I've listened. I was like, oh shit. He has that voice, that crazy, like real nasally high. high voice. Yeah, yeah. he makes. The jam again. Again, you're talking about a guy who's <laughs> the probably, jam probably jams. Uh, he's probably he's a he's probably a wealthy Jewish kid from Los Angeles who was raised in music and in performance since of, at a very young age, and uh, you know just fucking got good. He got good, man. Look at him. I used to love his hair. I hate when he has the mohawk, good looking though. kid. Too, I hate man. mohawks, dude. Yeah, mohawks trigger me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. He's from L.A., right? He's probably from Brentwood. Grew up in Brentwood. No, not him. I, uh, think so. I know he does record in L.A. all the time. So I think, I think no, he's but I, is he from Brentwood? I thought he was from like the Valley or somewhere. Maybe somewhere like that. I think maybe Brentwood. Either way, you don't get you know. The, the, I guarantee he's been in music class and dance class and acting class since day one. It's fucking you know. Beverly Hills. Adam Adam Levine purchased thirty five point five million dollar home in Beverly there Hills. You go, guys. So you, you want me to do what? <laughs> there you go. Look, go to Wikipedia for a sec. You'll see. I'm going to guess. Where he's from originally? Uh, yeah, I'm going to guess. No, I'm I know he's from Brentwood. California. You're saying where? Adam uh, Levine was born in Los Angeles. Adam Noah Levine. Dude, look when he was born, bro. Adam March Noah. 18th. There you go. Special <laughs> day, you fuck. All right. Pisces. Shout out to my Pisces brother. To his dad, Frederick. Founder of a retail chain, M. Frederick. He's got some money. Um, he has a brother, Michael. Two have siblings. Came from a good family. They were Jewish, while maternal grandmother was a Protestant. Levine considers himself Jewish, uh, though according to Jewish Chronicle, he's spiritually, but not he's spiritual. But Just not says religious. he was born in L.A. Not exactly where. Um, but there, there's a, there's a, there's a tradition culturally of like you know you 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 become or be or be an artist, be you know be educated, be you know keep scrolling down. It's supported. 
He did study in New York. Yeah, this, he's he's studied. Oh, he's so good. Man. He's disciplined and he studies. You can see his body. The guy's you know, he's got he's buttoned down. He fucking knows what he's doing. Would have been successful at anything he does. Um, what else? Yeah. All right, this one's bad. Uh, it has to do with a cat, like someone kicking a cat. Do you see I this viral video? This, the cat that does the helicopter. <laughs> Let's see it. Jeez. This is so messed up the way, <laughs> I don't know if he does a helicopter, but it does resemble that a little bit. I ain't seen it. I this ain't guy seen it. like was trying to pet a cat all nicely, like being sweet to the cat. The cat finally started walking up to him and then he just soccer kicks it. Oh, maybe I haven't seen this one. Oh no, my, my one, the guy's not being mean to the cat. Can oh, okay. This is, okay, never mind. Well, here's a kick. This is terrible. And they're trying to locate this guy. Everything I see is, it's from the Where UK. This? Somewhere from the UK, that's all the information I got. And he's laughing. How what? jacked up is that? Fuck, man. Bad guy. God. <laughs> terrible guy. Man. What? What, Jim? Let's find this oxygen thief. Yep. Oxygen thief? Yeah, he's, he's, he's breathing. He's taking yeah. oxygen. Yeah, why is he alive? Oh, Piece of oh, shit. Wow. Well, Boy, being if anyone cop, recognizes this Some of the biggest jerk. Bags. I wonder what they're... I, I'm sure... That's a pretty clear video. I'm sure they're going to find him, right? I hope so. I don't They'll know. Find him. But what the fuck was he They'll thinking posting this? Well, what you do is... You, look, what you do is this. You find him. Ugh. You post his picture up. And a you reward. just tell his... You a tell, little reward, You though. just tell, tell his employer so he doesn't get a job. He's a fucking asshole. That, that's, that where, that's where public shaming... I'm not a fan. That's where I think public shaming works. You're, oh, you're that kind of a piece of shit? You kick cats? You kick innocent animals like that? Don't want you working at my place. No, hell no. Let them know. There's no way this could be fake, though, right? No. His buddy filming it, too, should probably be dealt with as well. Yeah. Why, why is he laughing so hard? He's a piece of shit. It just seems like a, piece a total douchebag. Piece of shit hang out together. Yeah, you're right. How about that guy walk by and punch those two women? That crazy guy. There's a lot of... This guy's not crazy. This guy's a shithead. Yeah, he gets a piece of shit. So you see crazy people that kill somebody on the street because they're crazy. They see demons. One thing. That's a piece of shit. That guy's not crazy. That guy's dead, stone cold sober, just a cruel person and a bully. Yes. So, you know, hamstring him. Uh. Maybe lose a foot. Lose half a foot. Or we'll just have fucking God Adam Vinatieri kick him in the gut. What's that? Just have someone kick him in the gut. Uh, what's his name? Uh, have... Uh, Who's got the crazy kicks? Barboza. Have Barboza, Barboza. or Darren Till. Have, have Barboza or Darren Till. Fucking, yeah, just break his ribs. Give him a couple cracks. It's not the way life works, though, is it? What else you got? Uh, this right here. This has been making the news. Quentin Tarantino, a reporter, was talking about how Margot Robbie, Margot Robbie didn't get enough speaking parts. Shut Did you watch this part? I no, have. but I I'll agree with him. Okay, I'll play already. this for you. I already you. agree with him. I'll play this for you, and then you'll see how he reacts. This movie, by the way. Oh, hell yeah. Once upon a time in Hollywood... At its world premiere at Cannes yesterday, it stars Leonardo DiCaprio, mm -hmm. Brad Pitt, and Margot Robbie. It's directed by Quentin Tarantino. Just a bunch of dime pieces. Besides she looks up, so freaking good here, too. Reporter was underwhelmed <laughs> by Margot's Jeez, put your role dick away, Jim. New York Times like reporter, the most Margot's liberal fucking, the most liberal Quentin, far left. Quentin, you have put Margot Robbie, a, a very talented actress, um, actor, in your film. She was in the Leonardo, with Leonardo in Wolf of Wall Street. I, Tanya. This is a, you know, person with a great deal of acting talent, and yet you haven't really given her many lines in the movie. And I wondered, I guess that was a deliberate choice on your part, and I just wanted to know why that was, that we don't hear her actually speaking very much. And uh, Margo, I wanted you to also comment about being in the film in this part. Well, I just reject your hypotheses. So that's all he said. And Margot Robbie had a really good answer, but it's she very, very cool long. She was cool about yeah. it too, right? She should be. Yeah. And 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 you're an asshole. That that that. That's the lady that was asking. Yeah, she's of course, looking oh, for look. a narrative. Yeah, look, she's look at the, look at the activist. Did, and did, did they reporter. tell you that this got a standing ovation? The question did. No, I'm saying no, not the question. Everyone was like, "Sit down." Bitch. Oh, the movie, especially in the jacket. Hey, get the for fuck the movie out of got here. a standing ovation. Get out of here with your activism, you fucking. They say it's the closest <laughs> thing he's come to Pulp Fiction results. Oh, good. I can't wait. Me too. I can't This is the wait. kind of shit you deal with, these fucking... So what's... what's uh, Do you want to hear what she says in yeah, response? Yeah, what Robbie says. Right, yeah. Robbie says some amazing stuff right here. Why that was that we don't... So after she says that? I, um... Like I said, like I said earlier, I, I, I always She's, look to the character and what the character is supposed to serve she is to the story. Dynamite. Um, I... I think the moments that I got on screen gave an opportunity to honor Sharon and the lightness. I don't think it was intended to delve 
deeper than, like Brad also mentioned, I think the tragedy ultimately was the loss of innocence and to really show those wonderful sides of her, I think could be adequately done without speaking. Um, I did feel like I got a lot of time to explore the character even without dialogue specifically, which is an interesting thing because I often do look to the interaction with other characters to inform me on the character. Um, Rarely do I get an opportunity to spend so much time on my own as a character going through a day-to-day existence. That was actually an interesting thing for me to do as an actor. I actually really appreciated the exercise and uh, felt that I could deliver what I wanted to on screen. Beautiful, right? Yeah, she's yeah, brilliant. She, she could have spoke Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> I, did she, I, didn't, I know. I was just I, looking I was at like, her mouth. Look at her go. <laughs> Look at you. Look okay, at I'd, you like go. This. I'd like to this. I got a question. Uh, not really a question, just more of a comment. Uh, I'm, I work for the uh, Guy Times. You're looking uh, good. Look at you go, huh? Look at you up there, huh? Feeling good about things? Look at you yeah, go. Yeah, I'm going to watch it. Where are you going to watch it at? Um, yeah, I don't. People are always looking for something to complain about. What else you got? This guy, the doctor from Botched. I know that guy. Dr. Nassif. Yeah. He was saying that if Arli- Artie Lang were to clean up his act, and the only reason he's saying clean up because he would do his, he'll fix his nose for free. He can fix it the way, the way it should be looking. But if he does cocaine again, it's just going to make it worse and damage it worse. So he's saying get so you quit, and fix yeah, your nose you for quit free? entirely. He's like the top nose doctor in the world too, yeah? He's like one of big, big time nose doctor. I had a long talk with him. All about, he does is nose. I had a long talk with him about not only noses, but he was sitting next to somebody he, whose nose he did. And he goes, now look at that nose. That's a nose. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, yeah, he definitely helped Artie. But yeah, I get what he's saying. He has to be sober. Otherwise, it's just a waste of time. Mm. I mean, I don't know what happened. What? Uh, so I guess the cartilage disintegrates? How did that happen? Uh, they took he it out. Glass, he's continuing right? to still snort coke, probably. Eesh. Um. How about this? This... Hiker in Hawaii was lost for 17 days. She was finally found, and she survived off berries River water. and water. Smart. In Hawaii. It feels like you wouldn't get lost in Hawaii. And it says here, it's river water and smarts is how she survived. So yeah. she's supposed to be a doctor of physical therapy, oh. and then she also didn't bring her cell phone. And the way she got lost is she tried to do a different trail that she's never done before. Mm. Uh, then she tried to meditate, fell asleep, woke up, didn't know where she was, and that's how she got lost. Ended up breaking her ankle too, I think, or leg. Okay. Yeah. Well, cool. and then she's okay. There was a GoFundMe page for her that her friend did, and then it raised around seventy five thousand dollars or whatever. Yeah, and they took yeah. some money of that to hire a helicopter guy to oh, get wow. her friends to drop in to find her, and that's how they spotted her. Damn, wow. that's cool. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. Damn, God, GoFundMe is powerful, man. It is, and that's her. Good for Severely her. sunburnt. 17 days. In Maui, she got lost? Yeah. On a hiking trail. Mm. Keep going. Maui yoga instructor. Um, oh, this one's really interesting. <clears throat> Just look at these pictures here, right? There's people running around. That didn't work out well. Holy face. <laughs> I'll just play for you. So people were jumping around and running into a drive-thru. And it's like, how, why were these people doing it? Chick-fil-A. See them all jumping into the drive-thru window? the car and crawl through the drive-thru window seeking shelter in the storm. Holy moly. So there was a tornado. And people started running in, inside the drive-thru window. I thought they were trying to get them chicken tenders. Look at this. Oh, fuck. It got crazy. No way, man. Terrifying. Strong winds. Uh, it, it Why are they all going in circles like that? Though? <laughs> 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 it's like they're still playing Doug Doug Goose. Your I four. Uh, Oklahoma. That's one thing we don't have to worry about is tornadoes. Yeah. Huh? Have you ever been in a tornado? Sure thing? haven't. In Denver, the, we used to, uh, when I was a kid, there's tornadoes. We used to go to the basement. Right. Really? Get a snack. So we go to the basement. Damn. You just hear. You hear it, and you could go outside and see it. Wow. Tornadoes are no. How about Everest traffic jam? Everybody died. I mean, like got ten. Within deaths. two weeks, ten people died. Come and on. look at what's Why? happening because there. There's a jam. They're giving out way too many permits, and the people that they're giving permits to aren't trained, so they're taking longer than normal. Are you kidding me? Look at this. So you, people are dying on the way back. Why? You, uh, air. What's it called? Oxygen. Uh, you don't have so much air. It's it's, uh, it's well. So high it's, altitude poisoning. 
Yes. Where, so you yeah, you have, have like very little air. In your body, you freeze to death. Everything yeah. breaks down. Your tissue. So now even Mount Everest is overpopulated. People want to do that. People want to. Yeah, I'd love to do that. But why? I wouldn't. It's I don't always know. for like an ego thing. You know what? I, I, you know, I don't want to climb in the. F- Dude, frozen. ten deaths. Ten I'd like deaths. to climb like two weeks. jungle or something. I don't yeah, want to. This is the frozen. art of suffering. Yeah. Ten deaths. This is for people I think that want to show off to other people. Like I've climbed Everest on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, you die. Look at that shit. It's yeah. so dangerous. Those are people just waiting, so they can wait for people to come down. I mean, they're up. climbing up slowly, but they're also waiting for people to go. So That's so stupid. Add all that up, and then people so are dying. That's so stupid. That's so crazy. So they're asking for the government to stop giving so many yeah, permits no out to shit. people that aren't trained. Holy fuck, man. Well, You want one more? Sure. Yeah. Some people stole... Wagyu beef inside of a purse, but if you look at the person that stole it, that's the interesting part to me. So here's an image of it. <clears throat> wagyu beef. Yeah. Where are you getting wagyu? What do you beef? think stole it? Oh, that girl in her yeah. ass. So check out how she grabs it and just slaps it in her purse. It is expensive. You gotta know you're on camera, love. I yes. She, you gotta know. I thought she was gonna hide in her teeth. It's worth. Her cheeks. It's worth hundreds of dollars, and I guess people have been trying to steal some other wagyu there before. And this woman got caught. They found out who she was, so she ran to another person. Someone was waiting, and they took the beef. Oh, damn. So there's so another accomplice. The she took the fall for the wife. She, also, she was also <laughs> able to get away. Oh, wow. Also, they won't do anything. What do you mean? You won't get in trouble for this. You'll just get booked and they'll... Really? Yeah, you get a fine or something. It's really hard for stores to <laughs> press charges. They're just like, oh, you stole meat. It's wagyu beef, yeah. Yeah, it's all fat. They said it probably melted by the time they got to the, yeah, their house because it wasn't they, in ice. The they, it's all uh, fat. The way they cook. Wagyu's all fat? Yeah, it's the the all, mostly it, fat. The way they raise the beef is so ridiculous. Dude, I don't, Sometimes I'm not, they don't I'm let it touch wagyu the ground. Fan. I'm not a big Wagyu guy. They massage it. They want it. They feed it crazy Yeesh. amounts of food. You are a Wagyu fan. Remember yeah. on, on sushi? Oh, in on Australia. Of, yeah. They had it, right? It melts in your mouth on sushi. I don't eat that kind of beef. I think it's so artificial. It seems gross. So tasty, though. Yeah. Tender. Juicy. It's all fat. We need to get some new boots. No, because these are my thousand miler from Wolverine. I, I live close to the bone is the only thing. They're looking rough though, huh? Yeah, but I'm such a rough dude. I'm a rough cat. You know, Brian, he's a rough cat, but I do get against some new. Yeah, you do. I'm going to Varvetus today, maybe. Which Got one? Some ideas. I don't know, man. We'll see. <laughs> you we'll don't shake know where it up to find bit. it. Century City has one though. I think they have a sale going on right now. You should go there. Malibu too. They got a big one. Do they? You can go to Century City, there's a Barbados in there, get some new boots. My family's in a movie, The Kids, so I might go to uh, Hello? Solo House Malibu and By yourself? see Frank Grillo. By yourself? No, Grillo's there. My boy Frankie. Just you guys hanging out, dude. Yeah, I'll eat some food. Um, Is that it, Chin? That's it. All right, America, we love you. Happy Memorial Day. Well, I, I love Thank the whole Thank you to world. all our men and women in, in uniform. Yes. And for making the ultimate sacrifice. This is an important time and uh, an important time of remembrance. And uh, we are a great country. Um, and Brian will go get new boots for everybody. I'm gonna go get new boots. I'm That's how you're gonna honor us. That's exactly right. Go get buddy. new boots, dude. That's exactly right. Um, back on the show. road. Back yeah. on the road. Here I go again. Here I go. On my own. How's that song go? Um, Do you know what song on the stage. stage? Yeah, I forget what song. Yeah, I go. Yeah, sing it, dude. Uh, I'm in Cleveland this week. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Hilarities, Cleveland. Come on out, Dog Pound, Cleveland, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then after that, the Fong Week, uh, Burbank. That is June 8th. I'm in Burbank at, um, what's the place in Burbank called, Brian? Flappers. 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 Come flap with me at Burbank's. Flap on. Come flap with me. Vegas, Brian and I. That show is almost sold out one night only at the Orleans in Las Vegas, Nevada. Then Calgary just hit as well. Brea up as well. TFAK. Dot com. Thank you for everyone that watched my special. You guys are amazing. If you haven't seen it, go to Showtime.com, promo code SHOB. You can watch it for free for 30 days. Get you some. And uh, if you're on TFATK.com, I want you to get some tickets if you're in Indianapolis or anywhere near. Indy. June 6, 7, 8. Uh, looking forward to hanging out with your old buddy, Matt Mitrione. He'll yeah. Be out there. Las Vegas, as you know, the 15th Orleans showroom. Then Tempe. Tempe Improv, let's go. June 20, 21, 22. I'm coming. Coming hard. Coming true. And I'll be ready. Mainly coming, though. Yeah, mainly coming. This is the final kid. We're out.